Hey you guys, welcome back. Today we are organizing my master bedroom closet because it's really bad. It's, it's embarrassingly bad. Usually I don't show you guys when things get this bad because A, it's embarrassing and B, I'm trying to like do a thing here where I, you know, I'm an organizing expert and people who organize for a living shouldn't live like this, but I do, so I'm a fraud and it's okay to call me one. I just, I'm not an, I'm not an organized person. When I take my clothes off to get dressed, I leave it on the floor. When I make a sandwich, I leave out the bread. <laughs> I'm just like a disaster. I'm a walking disaster. Usually I can nag myself enough to pick up after myself and to keep things really clean and clutter free, but I've been busy and so this is what crap looks like right now. And look at this closet. Do you see how small this closet? I have to share this closet with my husband and we pretend that we're like yoga loving zen minimalist people who want to have this amount of clothing on purpose and it's like you know like oh we're just living with less no we have no space <laughs> we, just, we would love a walk-in closet we would love all this clothes and oh it's so sad feel for me but whatever i am going to take everything out i am going to organize it i'm going to hopefully feel the urge to purge and get rid of a bunch of stuff and i'm going to speed it up and uh slap some three free probably really bad music so you guys can watch me do it and then I will show you the reveal oh, when I'm all done so let's get started all right guys there's a dirty clothes basket right there but I just throw my stuff on the floor notice how it's all pink and purple and baby yeah it's mine for some reason I just throw it on the floor and then the closet it's rocking this look right now it's bad it's, it's so bad so this is my side this is it for all my clothes you guys it's not like we have dressers we have one little dresser but it's this is it this is it for me all my clothes has to fit in this tiny space and um so i have to purge and i'm going to purge right now and i'm going to show you what it looks like after So I'm gonna start with this piles here. And honestly, I don't have a lot of space, but there are things that I do wanna keep. I paint a lot. I wanna keep stuff that, you know, I can get wrecked or whatever. I wanna keep extra bathing suits and stuff like that. So what I'm gonna do is pack stuff high up high, the things that I still wanna keep but I don't use all the time, just to free up some more space down below and then purge, purge a lot, hopefully. So I did all the things that were on the shelves first and then I took all my clothes out. For having such a small closet, I have way too many clothes. We do have four seasons here in Canada, so I need to keep things when it's really hot and when it's really cold and all the way in between, but this is still way too many. So I'm gonna go through and start purging this giant pile right now. So that was not fun. It ended up taking 42 minutes, which is longer than I usually like to take. My ADD was kicking in, but look at this pile. This pile. Look at this pile of donations. I'm super proud of myself. I have a ton of empty hangers too, and this is at least a garbage bag filled with stuff. So I can't wait to show you what the closet looks like now. So I actually took the laundry downstairs to the laundry and found a space for everything. Even refolded my husband's sweaters. He has so many sweaters. Isn't that an obnoxious amount of sweaters? But I fit it all on there. And then some of my extra stuff I put in bins up way up high at the top. I still have to label everything so I don't forget. I'm the type of person if I don't label I'll forget what's in there. Uh, but I'm going to do that later. So here on the bottom I put all my sweaters and my like open sweaters or little, I want to call them borderos, I don't know, you know those sleeveless sweaters, those or those short sleeve sweaters. I have those all down here for winter and then up top because that's easier to access I put all of my short sleeve tops. Look at how many I have, it's ridiculous. I have way way too many but i did purge a ton and i'm super happy about that i color coordinate it like a nerd i don't know why just 
makes me feel like, oh, I have more than just black clothing. It's mostly black, but I have more than black, and I put it all there. So it's just so, I don't know, like, so much cleaner looking and hopefully easier to maintain. Here inside these bins, I rolled, this is like camisoles. Look at how many camisoles I have. I cannot purge any of them. I love them all so much. They're all different colors and different lengths. So I rolled them so I could actually see all the colors. So I can just like, oh, today I want to wear pink and I can just pull out the pink and I don't have to rummage through every time. So I like rolling them like that. I rolled everything the same way, including all my workout clothes here. So there's a lot of black. There's <laughs> a lot of black. These are all my yoga pants. I have a lot of yoga pants, but I rolled them all up so I can just see which ones I have and easily grab them out without making a mess of the bin. Again, here is my giant purge pile. I don't know why my closet's still so full because <laughs> I took out so much crap. It's still pretty full, but that is nothing to be ashamed of. That's a huge pile of stuff I got rid of today. So thanks so much for watching how I organize my master bedroom closet. There's not really any tips or tricks that I use. I could have turned all the hangers backwards. I could have used little tips like that. But really, it's about just carving out a little bit of time in your day, pulling everything out, getting rid of what you don't need, and putting it back in a method or a system that really works for you. For me, the most easily accessed stuff is the stuff I use all the time, and I love using bins and baskets to pull out with all the stuff inside that I can easily just grab and then shove it back away when I'm done. So that's it. Take a few minutes today to organize something in your home. For more quick organizing inspiration, hit that red subscribe button and never miss another video. And click right here to see how I organize my fridge so it stays clean and organized for good. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.